I'm going to talk to you about how to be certain in uncertain times. Being Christians is really now coming to light of what a Christian is. I mean, we have to exercise our faith more than we have ever exercised our faith. This is not just saying, no, I, I believe in Jesus. And, 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 and you know, and, 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 and there's times, you know, where I'll just, you know, sing a song to the Lord and, and all that. No, it's Christianity is a lifestyle. Faith is a lifestyle. So let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25 through 27. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. He is the Antichrist. All right? So let me read it again to you. He, the Antichrist, shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints. Right then and there, we, we could stop right there and just say, God, that's just what's going on today. The enemy is trying to wear us out. And in some cases, he's winning. Sorry to say. And the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. That just basically means three and a half years of the tribulation. That's what time and times means. All right. But the judgment shall sit or stop. And they shall, or be prevented, and they shall take away his dominion <clears throat> to consume and to destroy it unto the end. He thinks he's going to do things, but this says he's going to be destroyed. One more verse. The kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. You and I are going to um, have control of the earth. I told you this. I told you the government is going to be God the Father, Jesus the Son, Holy Ghost, and his born-again believers. That's going to be the political setup. Everything, dominions, kingdoms, his, the greatness of his, all going to be given to who? The saints of God, the Most High whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Dominion shall serve and obey him. My God, nations. Here too is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my connotations much troubled me or my conscience and my countenance changed in me. In other words, it's troubling what's taking place. It's troubling what took place in Daniel's times. But look at the end of the chapter, church. But Daniel, I, kept the matter in my heart. Kept the Lord in his heart. It didn't change him. Times are changing, but he didn't change. See, Daniel lived in some uncertain times, church. All right? He lived as an exile in Babylon. He didn't choose to, all right? There were, there were uh, death threats. There, there were, uh, the idol worship was off the hook back then. There were temperamental kings. Watch this. There was backbiting officials back then. Jesus, help me. <clears throat> Ooh. There were, there were even puzzling dreams that Daniel had to interpret. Political unrest back then. Do you hear what I'm saying to you, church? Oh, yeah, you better start texting people and getting them, getting them right on this, this program. This is going to set you free. Like Daniel, we also are living in some uncertainty, uncertain times, economically, uh, socially, certainly politically, um, morally, all right? Uh, America and really the world is filled with uncertainty, especially since 9-11. All of this kind of made us forget a little bit about 
and, and but you know things have certainly changed since then in the world that we live in of uh, uh, such uncertainty what do we do who do we turn to who do we trust who do we put our hope in Daniel has a dream and when you read it in um, uh, chapter 7 verse 1 and 2 he has a dream and the dream is about a storm or a condition of the world at that time and um, but we also see in that the love of God that God gives us hope he's a God of hope yeah and, and through this vision God gives Daniel hope for for uh, 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 the future okay and among the turmoil and confusion that's taking place, God speaks to Daniel. <laughs> and in reading this, I see four principles that I want to give you, okay? That I want to give you and um, that I believe are going to really help you, all right? In this time of uncertainty. Number one, okay? Okay. When you understand these things, you'll understand that uh, it's settled in the heart of God. And God's got everything under control. Number one, earthly kings, okay, and kingdoms will pass away. The grass will wither, the flower will fade, but the word of God shall stand forever. But kingdoms of this world will pass away. God's kingdom will never fall, will never pass away. Listen, nothing lasts forever except the things of God, the kingdom of God in your soul. Okay, your soul doesn't die. Your soul either goes to heaven, if you love the Lord, or it goes to hell. We've got to be certain, we've got to be careful that we don't make a man the man. We got to watch that carefully. That is idol worship. The, any leader, any king, any prince, any president is not your answer. It's not your source. Be careful with that, church. The Babylonian belief back then, the pay, pay close attention to me, was that the kings were eternal. Oh, yeah. That they had everything they said was the final answer. Nobody debated that. Now, let me give it to you out of the book of Anthony, what I'm saying here, okay? Some Christians, the Babylonian belief, some Christians' belief is that the leaders of our nation or even this world have the final answer. Glory to God. Woo. You better tell somebody he's teaching good right now. I'm teaching out of what the Holy Ghost divinely gave me. Amen. They're not the answer. All oh, due respect to every one of their offices. You know me when it comes to politics. I respect them. I pray for them. I don't agree to a lot they do. Don't get me wrong. But I, I, I definitely intercede for them. But they are not the answer. See, there's no kingdom more powerful than the kingdom of God. They're all going to fall, church. Number two point. Number one, kingdoms will fall. Evil will fall and will be destroyed. The days of evil and sickness are numbered. Are numbered, church. God will destroy evil. Amen? Amen. And the evil one. Yes, he will. The court will convene. That's what will happen. And his dominion will be removed. And this is actually the second blow to the devil. To the Antichrist. Remember the first was the cross. The moment one drop of blood stained Calvary's hill, the devil was defeated. That's why the earth shook. One drop of his blood. That's all it took. The fate of the evil one has already been sealed. 
Come, Lord Jesus, come. Hallelujah. In your time of uncertainty, church, you keep this in mind. Evil will not prevail. God's people will prevail. Evil is not here to stay. It's headed into the lake of fire along with the creator of evil. Listen to me. God's job is to destroy evil. You and I, our job, is to overcome evil. Number three point, get an intimate picture of Jesus. The Bible says in his presence is fullness of joy. You want peace? You want joy? Get in his presence. I've been asking God to show me a vision to, to bring me into his presence like never before. I've been, I've been seeking that. Now, you're probably waiting to hear, oh my God, did that happen? I want to hear what happened. It didn't happen yet. But I believe it's going to happen. Why, do I, why am I looking for that? Because in that, that point of his presence, that's life-changing. That's going to open up your eyes. That's going to teach you how to trust him more. When you get more intimate with him, you're going to get to know him more. And when you get to know him more, you get to trust him more. And my God, church, in, 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 in these times, I, I got to tell you, I don't know how people that don't serve the Lord are getting through. You've got to trust God. If not, you're body will be riddled with fear every time you hear a certain situation, a certain person getting ill and a certain thing happening. You've got to trust God. It'll get you through. Number four point. I just wrote this down because I, I really, it's simple, but I, I, I can say it's profound, but it's even more than that. Number four point is God has you on his mind. God's not in heaven, the Holy Ghost is not next to you or living inside of you, and go, uh, all right, tell, tell the Holy Spirit, I'm a little, I'm building, what's his name's mansion right now, so I got so much on my mind, you know, and, and I got, um, you know, we're going to have a, a Holy Spirit party in heaven, so I got to get that set up too, so uh, I'll get to those guys on earth in, in a minute or two, you know, you know 24-7, which is no such thing in heaven, Okay, you and I are on his mind. There's, there's not, let me speak to somebody right now. There's not a tear you shed that God has not counted. There's not a cry you cry that God has not seen. There's not a hurt in your heart that God has not felt. There's not a loss in your life that God doesn't understand. God sees you. God has you on his heart and on his mind. I just love you so much and miss you. I, I picture your faces. I picture you in your seats. I picture you there, you know, because like I said, pretty much everybody's got a seat, you know, somewhat. And I just picture your faces. And, and, and just my heart just wells up. And it just... How much I miss you. You know, we get back to that day where we can, you know, hug on one another, see each other, and high five each other, whatever we do, you know. Uh, just personally tell each other how much we miss each other and love each other. And, and I just picture you. And I want you to know there's not a day in my life that goes by that I don't pray for all of you. Some of you that are fighting the good fight of faith, I'm praying for you every single day. And you shall, by grace, by, the, by, by your faith, be well. Be well. We're praying you shall be well. In Jesus' mighty name. Well, until I see you Wednesday night, you remember you're blessed, highly favored, and greatly loved. God bless you. Go in peace.